Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I've got all these traveling techniques that I've developed over the years and that's because I travel a lot. And I'm gonna show you today one of the ones that just makes airport security such a breeze. Let's go ahead and take a look at streamlining your processes for airports. All right guys, so I normally carry eh, a series of metal objects on me. And I'm just saying, you shouldn't keep this stuff in your pockets because when you get to the airport, there's no need to keep these things in your pocket anymore. So I keep bags like this. This is my, my grab bag that goes with me pretty much everywhere. It's got front access pockets. I can put the car keys in there. Most cars have proximity keys anyway. They don't need to even be in your pocket when you get to the airport again. You just put your bag in the car and it will start. But for safe keepings, you're much more likely to lose your keys and stuff at the airport if you place them in some sort of weird dish and there are ways to get around that one of them is you use a bag the other one the other one is to get a jacket kind of like this one with some zip up pockets see that this this right here this is the secret right keys all the accessories that i i know that i'm going to use eventually i put them in a zip up pocket and that way there, when you go through security, you just take your jacket off, you place it in a bin, and you go through. You have all your keys, you have everything. Don't take stuff out of your pockets at inopportune times, you're going to lose it. So things like even your passport, you can keep them in a zip up pocket, place it in your jacket or in a bag. When you go through security, you have it with you. Now the other thing, guys, if you travel quite a bit, yes, in the United States, all you need is your driver's license, however, I highly, highly suggest you get a passport and keep it in your bag in like some secret pocket because this bag goes with me every single place I go. Since the bag goes with me everywhere, I always have two forms of ID. That will save you so much. Let's say you lose your wallet, it gets stolen, whatever. I can still access money because I have a positive form of identification. If you only travel with one form of ID, you are setting yourself up for a failure eventually. So guys, I was going to be one travel tip. That's actually two. Go out there. Be safe, guys.